my God, it's 2021. I, just I have never been so glad to see, <laughs> to see a new year. And I know I am not alone. Oh God. Oh my gosh. People are going to, I just have to hope. Burn their 2020 calendar as an effigy, I swear. I know. No, I just have to hope that this year's better. I have a lot of reasons to think that it probably is not going to be a whole lot better, but I have the hope because today's, you know, it's New Year's Day. So yeah, because it's New Year's Day, you and I agreed we were going to do two, two, two resolutions, mm -hmm. fandom resolutions. Yes, because this is the Daily Durani after all. And so we want, um, you know, we want to make sure that we are being good Durannies um, throughout <laughs> the year. Yeah, we're trying to be good. <laughs> it will break that resolution probably tomorrow, but um, all right. So here are my two. I'll go first. I'll volunteer. Okay, so the first thing is that, and I've constantly said this, it's one of those things that I've said like all the time is that we, okay, so fun fact or not so fun fact for the rest of you that Rhonda and I have a calendar, which on our calendar gives us like dates that we've gone to concerts or gives us like anniversary of album release dates and I want to and so my two resolutions have to do with that so I would like you know so if it's an and like on this day I saw Duran Duran in blank place I want to acknowledge that in some way shape or form so like I want to like make sure that I am posting it either on social media or I'm talking to the people that I went to the show with I'm doing something to just like you know, Sorry, that's my dog. That's oh, right. Dear. You know, Sorry. just to like, you know, put, you know, like remember it in like good times, right? Um, yeah. And then the second thing I would like to do is to acknowledge those anniversaries, particularly because I feel like once things went to hell last year, that like I didn't really want to think too much about during the really? 40th anniversary. So instead, wow. let's think about it now. And again, being hopeful, it's New Year's Day. And so, if it's like the anniversary of Seven and the Ragged Tiger, I want to listen to that album all the way through. Like, and just remember, oh. what, try to remember what it was like the first time I heard heard the album and just kind of appreciate it, I love it. Um, in a way that I, I sometimes don't. Like, I like, oh, that album came out today, cool. But like, I want to actually take the time to actually listen. and remember. Those are so good. I love that. And you've given me ideas because I honestly came into this going, I don't know what the hell I'm going to say. I'm going to have to make it up. But, you know, you gave me good ideas. Yay. So I think the first thing is that, and I, I am embarrassed to say this because people are, because it's just, I'm, you know, I write for the blog every day and yet I don't listen to the band anymore. <laughs> I um, very rarely listen to Duran Duran music. And I'll, to be fair, it is not because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's because it physically hurts me <laughs> to listen to it right now. Right. Um, so I think one of the things I would like to get out of this year is that feeling. And um, in doing so, I want to put on their albums and actually enjoy them. The only time I ever listen is when I'm reviewing. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I immediately, you know, stop listening and just try to not think about, you know, what I'm missing out on, which is crazy, but that's just me. You're, it's along these, the same vein. Um, I have not sat down and played my clarinet since I believe the last day was August 8th. I haven't played at all. And it's because it's just too painful, which is ridiculous. But I am looking at yet another year where I'm not going to be playing in the orchestra because they've already preempted our whole mm -hmm. um, calendar because we can't play until we're out of this. Um, and so it's just, it's painful. Um, so that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is I have an entire drawer filled of, interviews don't and all that are not what? don't don't tell us anything not appropriate oh no 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 <laughs> no i have i just have like this th my armoire in my room yeah. is filled with my duran duran stuff now okay and um i have one whole drawer of it that has their interviews just videos mm -hmm. um anything that i have on dvd of them um with the exception of like live in london and um you know, anything like that. 
I don't have that stuff I have out in the living room, but like they're this, like the clips that I see yeah. online or that you've sent me over the years and stuff. I've taken, I have them all and I have them in a drawer and I haven't really watched them mm -hmm. or I've watched some of them and I haven't seen them in so long. I don't remember yeah. what they are. My resolution is to once a week, give myself time to go through and actually watch them again. Um, I miss that. I mean, yeah. I was telling Walt that I would love to be able to come back, you know, to your house because it was the only place that I would ever get to watch all that stuff. Because mm -hmm. here, nobody's going to watch it with me. And I fight over the TV with all of these jokers that I live with. Um, and so, and I don't have a DVD player in my, you know, in my laptop anymore. So it's just a hassle. Um, but I would like to take time and actually see it all again. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just for fun. So I think those are my two things. All right. It's not bad. So good. So here's the thing. I'm going to ask you, Rhonda, and then any the three people that might actually watch this yeah. uh, to uh, <laughs> help me remind me, you know, so it's like, you haven't heard from me talking about a show that I've attended. Like there's, I mean, maybe there's a couple of months that are a little, there's some months that are, that are, that are a little drier than others in terms of Duran shows. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like if you've, if I've gone two months and I haven't mentioned a show, I am bad on my resolution, right? Yeah. Same thing. If like an album anniversary comes up, um, you know, holler at me. Like, when are you listening to blank album today? Fair enough. Just to keep me in check. You just have to ask me if I'm actually doing, <laughs> are you listening to anything? Are you watching anything? Right. Are you taking any time for yourself? Because that's really, that's what that is, is that I just don't take time. Yeah. So, all right. That's a all deal. Right. Sounds good. Let's go Let's just all hope for a better 2021. I mean, really, I don't even know what that means or what that could look like, but right. let's just hope. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't wait to see everyone and hug again. And I don't really know if that, I, who knows if that's going to happen, but I'm hoping. Let's yeah. be hopeful. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you all. And um, Happy New Year to you, Amanda. You too. And um, hopefully everybody has shared their resolutions with us as well. So that, um, you know, I'd like, just like to know what other people are doing too. Yeah, totally. So, All right. All right. bye. Bye.